don't call me silly. I just love minis. I love minis. They're so darn cute. I love each and every little bit of thing they do. They're itty bitty. I just love just a couple minutes to set up here before we're ready to go with the uh, miniature horse extravaganza. But if you want to get to know our participants here before we start up, let's hear it for uh, Natalie and Rodeo, 34 inches tall, actually Rodeo that is. That's actually the tallest of our minis in the uh, lead of the parade here. We also have at 33 inches, Cheryl and Diddles. 32 inches at the uh, shoulder there is Shannon and uh, Sarah Jewell. We also have Mackenzie and Cloud, 31 inches tall at the Withers there, four years of age. And our uh, smallest, but yet uh, great things come in small packages, of course. We have Brenna and a, a pony known as Little Diddy, appropriately. Four years of age, fully grown, and just 25 inches tall. All right, folks, the uh, ladies here are going to be uh, working our uh, miniatures around the obstacles for just a minute before we uh, kick things off. Again, this is our uh, miniature horse extravaganza. Nice little uh, Saturday afternoon feature to finish the uh, matinee performance. Once again, Rodeo is the tallest of our miniatures, handled today by uh, Natalie. Diddles, again, just an inch smaller there with Cheryl. Uh, Sarah Jewell and uh, Shannon, a 32-inch tall uh, miniature. We have Cloud with Mackenzie, 31 inches at the Withers. And again, our uh, smallest, Lil Diddy with uh, Brenna, 25 inches tall, just and uh, four years of age, a fully grown miniature there. All right, miniature horses, ladies and gentlemen, are known and loved throughout the world from their humble beginnings hauling coal carts in the mines of Europe to uh, be being uh, sought after pets by the royal families. Miniature horses are prominent members of the equine community. Their popularity in the United States has increased tremendously in the last few years. There are miniature horse shows on local, state, and national levels with two independent breed registries to record their activities. Miniature horses are very popular with adults and youth exhibitors. And one thing for sure, owning and maintaining a mini is a lot less expensive than having a full-sized horse. We've all heard the old adage, good things come in small packages. Now, miniature horses are shown in confirmation at halter, in hand trail classes, over obstacles, agility classes, over various jump courses from hunter style to the open jumpers, and they're great in harness, pulling carts, carriages, and wagons, all customized to their size. Minis are exhibited in all driving classes similar to their larger cousins. You'll also see small children riding them in lead line classes and just for the fun of it. There are miniature horses of all different colors, shapes, and sizes. The current smallest miniature known to walk the earth today stands only about 17 inches tall. That is unbelievable, but uh, there it is. 17 inches, the smallest miniature that's uh, known to be living today. A miniature horse foals are so cute and lovable, they easily accept imprint training and they love attention. Maybe you've seen uh, Katra's very special miniature horse foal, Judd, on uh, television or people.com very recently. 
As with all horses, they need to be well cared for and taught basic handling skills. Having a good foundation is essential to their uh, future success. Their kind nature, strength, willingness, and abilities are simply amazing. Working with miniature horses offers many opportunities to their handlers. At Katra, the minis are known as little creatures, little teachers. In keeping with the mission of the Capital Area Therapeutic Riding Association, Horses Helping People, working with horses can help you learn valuable life skills, develop problem-solving abilities, improve decision-making, help you to uh, work as a team, develop leadership skills, also learn to be prepared. Also helps you to set goals, helps you to develop a plan of action, to focus on your task, and it just helps you to think. All these and much more, of course, along with having a lot of fun with some great little miniatures that love the attention, love to perform, and certainly love to show off in front of an audience such as you here today. Can we give them a little round of applause, folks? Now, Katra incorporates the uh, miniatures into many aspects of the therapeutic riding program. They serve as excellent horses to meet and greet new riders, especially small children in wheelchairs, since their size is a lot less intimidating than the average sized horse. Other minis are always ready to be petted by visitors. And without a doubt, when you're around these marvelous little creatures, you can't help but smile. How about a big smile from everybody in the stands here this afternoon? As they're showing over the obstacles, we're certainly ha uh, happy to have them with us here on uh, Saturday and enjoying the uh, miniature horse extravaganza once again, brought to us by the uh, Capital Area Therapeutic Riding Association. Therapeutic riding, of course, offers its own benefits. As we mentioned earlier, the full-sized horses offer the uh, legs, the mobility, and the movement that is necessary to help in the physical, mental, and emotional aspects with riders with disabilities. These miniature horses are uh, somewhat ambassadors to the equine world, so offering a bit of a different uh, aspect of assistance there in the uh, therapeutic programs. We're very happy again to have Capital Area Therapeutic Riding Association with us, with us here in the miniature horse extravaganza once again on Saturday. As we mentioned, ladies and gentlemen, uh, these miniature uh, horses show in a number of different events in halter. They pull carriages. They show over fences for style and for speed. They show in trail style events. And we're demonstrating quite a bit of that here this afternoon. Uh, the over fences that you're seeing here in combinations quite similar to what you're going to see in the Grand Prix in the uh, pre to Penn National later on here tonight. Certainly they're miniaturized versions, but uh, relatively difficult for animals of this size. So definitely they deserve some credit for going up and over the combinations on both sides of the Farm Show Complex Arena. <laughs> or not. Either way, they bring a smile to your face, don't they? Grand finale up and over the biggest vertical we've seen for the miniatures here today, ladies and gentlemen. And give them a nice round of applause now. They're going to be heading there to center for one final thanks. And we hope you've enjoyed the miniature horse extravaganza. 
You can enjoy the uh, full presentation at the upcoming uh, 2014 Pennsylvania Farm Show. So let's give them all a nice round of applause. All the ladies again here with our uh, five miniatures. And Natalie with Rodeo, the tallest of the group at 34 inches. Cheryl with Diddles at 33 inches tall. Again, Shannon and Sarah Jewell, a 32-inch miniature. Mackenzie and Cloud, 31 inches at the shoulder there at four years of age. And the most diminutive, but uh, not any less entertaining, is the four-year-old Brenna and Lil Diddy. Lil Diddy, of course, the 25-inch miniature there, heading on into center to take their pedestal position right now. We've had a great time with them, and we hope you have enjoyed it just the same, ladies and gentlemen. That is going to bring our afternoon performance to a conclusion. But the finale for our 10-day show is coming up. Pennsylvania National Horse Show will be concluding with the biggest event of the week. It'll be our $85,000 World Cup qualifying three depend national coming up here this evening. And of course, opening ceremonies set to kick off uh, at the 7.30 hour with our Grand Prix depend national. The biggest event for the open jumpers to finish out this year's National Horse Show. And again, the 63 year tradition coming to a close here tonight. So we hope you purchased your tickets to be with us. We'll see you back here in just a bit. So again, for the afternoon session, we thank you for joining us both here in the Farm Show building and of course, those of you on the World Wide Web via usefnetwork.com from all parts far and wide, California. Those of you viewing in La Cañada, California, we've had viewers